Alright guys, what's going on? So we are playing Teleforium today. Uh, no idea what kind of game this is, but from what I've gathered, you essentially do an interview, and uh, that's all I've gotten so far. So, let's play. I just switched the audio over in my headphones, so I don't know if you guys could hear any of that, or the audio was distorted, but, um, here we are. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Okay, on, no? Yeah, it's best to have as much materials as possible. We can edit it all later. We want the sixth floor, can you get the button? It's kinda cool. What is it? You look like you have something to say. What? What happened? It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Seslo, or Selzo, a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right, Celslo was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical th issues. Then bam, it happened. Weird. Reminds me of, um, Archive 81. If anybody hasn't checked out that show, I highly recommend it. I am surprised, or actually shocked that season, or that show didn't get a season 2 at all, so. Oh, we're here, come on. Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. I don't think it's the switch. I think we can get a nice take by the window. Hmm, you're right. You have a good eye. Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down the corridor. I think it's the it's that apartment just up ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can fill, film her getting the door and all that. So, should I knock on the door, ring the bell, what will look better on video? I wonder if she's... If she isn't, she will be now. Let me try again. Fiera called her right after it happened. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. I feel like we're gonna piss off this lady. Alright, third time's the charm. What do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're here from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage. A kind of retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So he wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine. Come in. It might be good to talk about it. Quicker, quick thinker, huh? Homage? I can't believe she brought that. You gotta be quick on your feet if you wanna last on this job. Come on, before she changes her mind.
Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Hmm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he know? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refused a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. She looks like the nun. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around when we have the chance. Make sure to catch... Get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. She's still in there. Don't! Yeah, okay. Keep the camera on, look around somewhere. Look at these certificates. Journalism degrees from UFRGS, specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I miss, I think Miss Martins is just the same. What a waste. It would be a shame if we only had these shots up the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? The plant is begging for water. Guests spent a necklace the last few days considering all that happened. I remember Walter bought that raincoat to cover a story, some lake where it rains a lot or something, right? This image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the fin. I remember how he got cheated out of some 500 shit. Clusurios for an overguised coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the darn. for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Look at this photo. Some scenery. Not a very appealing scenery, plus it's out of focus. The photo had a story behind it, I can feel it. I might ask about it during in the interview. Jesus Christ! Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. There's a painting here. I think Mrs. Martin's painted this. Hey, that TV shot looks good something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Whoa, VCR player. Fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruiseros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay out for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. There are a lot of good books in this house. Anything interesting? Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked at the page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Coffee's almost done. Thank you, miss. Jesus, miss. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Sola. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Uh, many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes, I've been thinking about selling the apartment because of everything. These things just make it all more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. It's hell. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious, I know Walter was quite the cinephile. It's a movie watcher, I think. What did he enjoy the most? Ma'am? Can you ask me about something else? Hmm, uh, sure. You're the boss. The paintings in the living room, they're yours, yes? Yes, I've been practicing for years. I like painting my dreams. I was preparing Walter's portrait. Can't even look at it now. You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit history, theater, theater. I met Walter at the Eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad dic diction? Dic I can't speak. 
Um, nobody notices it. His articulated speech, that was my gift. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins, we have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous, I never expected him to... No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The gun. The one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Fiera told you back at the station, right? What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? Celso examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape, not the original one. There was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in the thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I was at home, or in that small... or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. And this is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? I know I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tapes content in the video during editing. I bet it get poltergeisted. Right, let's make some room here. Alright, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on that film. We can fix it all in editing later. There, I'll press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize the building. These symbols. I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? But where would I have seen these before? Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Looks like a school. Are these classrooms? Why do their clothes look so much like my high school uniform? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's something up ahead. That guy. He looks... he looks... Turn up the volume. Am I supposed to someone named Oscar? I don't. I can't hear anything about an Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn the volume one more time. Do I have to decode that? I feel like she's gonna turn around and do poltergeist. Oh shit. I thought she was gonna do the poltergeist thing. Elevator music, okay. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? Okay, hurry up. 
Let me get the button. Sixth floor. Apartment. Wait, what? Looks like you've seen a ghost. Wait, what? I thought I was just here. Wait, dude, I was. Why am I back? Let's get to the 608 already. Wait, did I play it wrong? That's the apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. Do I play that run? Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events? Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Yes, come on, get in. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No thanks. Well, I'll go make some anyways. The dog is standing in a different... No, let's just... God damn it. I'll have to wait for her. I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Look at all these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people in the studio. Right. I don't recognize any of these institutions. So many books. Hmm. Hmm. There's one missing. Looks like it's going to rain after all. Funny. We had a clear sky the whole day. Check out this VCR. Might be expensive now, but I'm sure everyone will have one before long. I've been on the. There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. That? What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. I'm gonna get jump scared, bro. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? What a strange object. Why do I do with this now? I don't care, as long as it's away from me. What kind of plane is this? No idea, man. Well, it's taken care of. I think Mrs. Martins didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. Maybe it's what keeps her in the functional right now. There. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here, with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes. I have it here. Do you know where he found the tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see the thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. I don't have time for this, but you're fine, you're right, this whole thing is making me antsy. You know what, why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance to see if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. Ah, there she is. What's that smell? It's not the cigarette. No, focus. If I do a good job... If I want to believe, at least. Miss Martins. What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions for your program. Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? It's an opportunity for me. Walter also worked many jobs before settling in as an anchorman. Radio, sound operator, and so on. Fine, let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions. Years. My head's about to burst. How was Walter on that day? Normal, just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing, but his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after it had already happened. The only strange thing is that day was the day he made a copy of the tape. 
Why did you make a copy? Why did we copy anything? To preserve, to share. That's what I think, at least. To share. Just thinking about that girl, alone in my living room, watching that thing, makes my skin crawl. Say, so, why is she so interested in that tape? To tell you the truth, so am I. Of course, the copy ended up being a blank, right? Or it got burned? I'm not sure. I can see how this would entice you. It's a mystery, after all. But, don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I, I could swear I've seen her before, because you have. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I've been working here for... I haven't been working here for a long time. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyways? So you choose to admit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. I'm getting deja vu too right now, what the? That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story of what you're working on? Or is it something else? If you really believe this, or you say you believe this at least, who am I to stop you? Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for the interview with Smartens. I'm gonna get jump scared. So it's like a loop. We're on a loop of different scenarios. I've done the interview, I've interviewed her watching the tape. Who's that guy? I need to reach the apartment. The apartment. Which apartment? 608. Yes. That was it. I had someone else with me. Jew. Jew. Shit. How could I forget her? Each step makes it harder to remember. That tape. What I saw on it. How many things have I already forgotten? And how many fake memories have I recalled? The apartment. She stayed there. What? Better. The sound. Do I really want to follow it? Yes, I need to go on. What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge, but there's a grate. Ship. That woman, do I know her? Why am I tearing up like this? It's no use. Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? That smell stronger here. Is this the apartment? The smell is coming from inside the apartment. Oh, I know what it is. The smell. It's ozone. That's the dog.
gotten into it. He just dashed down the hall. Huh, looks like he was lying on top of some note. It's a note. I've had it and did what I should. Or did what I should. Now all I see is edited my memories. I am surrounded by forms, figures that mean nothing to me. Anything more than that. There's so much talking in this. Anything more than terrorizes, than that terrorizes me like the face of my memories. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She also... Ugh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog. Where did he go to? Gunpowder? Um, going inside. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. I just noticed it now, and it's awful. No, forget it. I'm only doing this to gather as much footage as possible. I was told that was important, or it was important once too. Gunpowder, I'm going in. Is the dog named Gunpowder? Is this the whole thing? Like. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado it. a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. As palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso e tenham mostrado. Por isso, acho que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção. I can't tell if the game is over or not. Okay, well I think that's it. That was pretty fun. Um, I might look into if there's like different parts of this game and kind of uncover the story because it seems genuinely interesting. Um, but tomorrow, I think I forget the name of the game, but we'll be playing that. So um, I'll see you guys then, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>